it's Alexis. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a watercolor flat wash and another watercolor activity using the same wet on wet technique. So first we're gonna start with our piece of watercolor paper. I'm gonna tape off the edges so that I can get a nice clean border around my painting. And you can make the thickness however thick you want. I'm just gonna use um, the length of the, the width of the tape, I'm sorry. And if you don't have artist tape or masking tape, you can always use scotch tape or whatever tape you have at home. Or you don't have to make a border at all. You can just make your painting go all the way to the edges. So now we have a nice clean space to work within. So first you're going to start off by getting a clean brush and for this project you're going to need a cup of clean water, paper towels, your watercolor palette, paper, and um, tape if you want to make those borders. Okay so I'm going to start with a clean brush with a lot of water on it. I'm going to just wet the entire paper that's not covered. And you want enough water on here to where the paper is glossy. Let's see. Okay. So once I have my water on there, I'm gonna use a color. I'm gonna go with red. And you wanna make sure you have a lot of pigment on your brush for this. Okay, so now that I have my paintbrush loaded up with color, I'm gonna start at the very top and do horizontal strokes all the way across my painting. And it's okay if it gets on the tape because once it dries, you're gonna peel that off. So during this part, it's important not to go back. You just wanna keep going down in the same direction. Okay. So now that I'm almost to the bottom, I'm gonna clean my brush again. And make sure there's just a little bit of water on here. I'm gonna go halfway up and do the same thing, just dragging the pigment down slowly. Okay, so this is the finished product after I've gone back through with the wet brush again. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. Um, this is really good to use for backgrounds. You could do calligraphy on top of it. Um, you could leave it just like this and use it as wall art um, or just for your portfolio just to practice watercolor. Now I'm gonna start with my second activity and I'm gonna start by doing the same thing and sectioning off the borders. Okay, so now that that's all sectioned off, I'm gonna do the same thing I did to start my last piece and just wet all the paper. And again, you want it really saturated so you can see the water on there, okay? Now I'm gonna load my brush up. This time, instead of using one color, I'm gonna use um, three or four colors. I'm gonna start with my darkest. And this time, I'm just gonna make dots all around the paper. Every time you switch a color, make sure you clean your brush off completely. I'm gonna pick up this orange over here. And these watercolor palettes are really cool because um, to activate them, you just have to use water um, and then they'll dry up on their own again when you're not using them. And this time I'm just going where I think there's a lot of white. I'm just trying to fill in that space. All right. So, so far I've used two colors. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a third color now. Okay. And same thing, same idea. I'm just gonna go in 
where I feel like there's a lot of white and try to fill that in a little bit. You can choose to add more colors, just be aware that if you add a lot of different colors, um, then your piece might start to look a little bit muddy after a while. So this is my finished piece. Um, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Um, if you want, you could go back and add water in different spots just to help the pigment spread a little bit more. So I'm gonna let this dry all the way before I take my tape off, but these are what they'll look like. And this is a finished piece. So if you guys do this at home, um, make sure to send pictures in to our Facebook or um, email photos in so we can see what you guys are working on.